Good morning, you fine person, you. How's it going? Uh, we're here in just south of Minneapolis, St. Paul, Minnesota. And uh, we're still waiting for a load, and uh, the load never came. So we're going all the way home empty. So all of you truckers out there, all of you dispatchers, all of you company owners, any of you, in, any of you involved with the trucking industry and transport industry right now, know exactly what I'm talking about. There's nothing moving. There's nothing moving around right now, and freight rates have dropped through the floor. It's like millions of us truckers out here, we want to keep working. We want to keep things moving. We want to keep the economy rolling. But it seems that people want us to haul their stuff for less than free. They're taking advantage of this whole situation right now, and of course, it's what happens, right? Freight rates drop through the floor. So, uh, I mean, the only freight I could get moving out of here wouldn't even pay the fuel. So it's actually cheaper for me just to go home empty. I could sit around here for another day after day after day, but I'm, I'm less than a day's drive from home. Why would I sit around here twiddling my thumbs all alone, bored, when I can go home and spend a day with my wife, with my dogs? It's supposed to rain when I get home, but hopefully that's not true. Hopefully that's fake news, because I'd like to go and sit on the porch. But uh, the good news is, though, that I have a load waiting for me back home, which is going to take me back down to Indiana. And from Indiana, I'm going to have to scrounge around or not me, I mean the load gods who find loads for me are going to have to go and uh, scrounge around for some freight that'll get me up to southern Ontario and I have a load in southern Ontario waiting for me to take me back to Alberta. So my next week and a half has been planned out and it, it, it's looking alright. It's It could be better but uh, I mean I'll take what I can get right now. I'm just thankful to be moving. So no freight for us down here. Nobody wants to pay us to haul their stuff. They all want us to haul it for free. So I don't, I don't truck for free. <laughs> so I'm gonna go home and spend some time with my family. How about that? How about that? And then, uh, so today's Thursday. I'll be home tonight. Spend tomorrow at home, and then on Saturday we leave again on another week, week and a half trip. At least we have a plan. At least we have a plan, right? So I gotta do my pre-trip here. And we got about eight hours to drive home. We're gonna be giving her petter, 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 petter to the metter. That's what I was. Gonna, pedal to the metal, all the way home, which means uh, 65 miles an hour. That's all she's got. I mean, she's got a lot more, but there's this province in Canada. There's actually two of them that are very annoying. They're called Ontario and Quebec. In order for me to drive through there wondrous glory lands, I have to have my truck governed at 65 miles an hour or 105 kilometers an hour, even though I don't live there. That's Ontario and Quebec. They like to control the whole country. Anyway, that's a topic for another vlog. Let's go and do our pre-trip. Let's go get the hood open here. This this uh, truck, you gotta open the hood like a, like a minivan, like the minivan that it is. Come down here. Oh, it's down here, just like a minivan. Alrighty, let's check the oil. Okay. Double check. She's full. One good thing about this engine, like this engine is solid in the fact that it doesn't burn a drop of oil. It doesn't lose a drop of oil. Between service chain, uh, between like preventative maintenance, can't talk this morning. Between PMs, I don't have to add a drop of oil. It's always really nice. So uh, she treats me all right. I mean, she's got her issues. She's a little cranky. You just gotta know how to treat her, how to talk to her. So here we got our antifreeze between the minimum and the full line. Looking good, looking good. Our fuel level here is down there, that's good. If it's up here, you gotta change the filter. Filter's good. Tires are good. Oh, I don't want that rock in there. Hey, how dare you. I did not invite you. Oh, there you go. Look at that. You're wrecking my tire. 
the brand new tires, man. $600, $700 tire right here. You can already tell that she's wearing down. Man, these tires really don't last long, do they? Just bought these. You can already see the wearing. At least they're wearing smoothly now, right? Because I got these uh, Centromatic wheel balancers. They work really well. So far, I would recommend them. So far, smooth as glass. Totally fixed everything. At least I think it did. And this is the sad part. Empty trailer. There's no nickels on there. There's not even any pennies on this thing. Look at it. Completely empty. Got my tarps over here. I wish I got paid to haul that at least, but no, those are mine. I have to pay to use those. I, I rent them. I got two end tarps and two center tarps. But. Yep. Yeah. And then there's somebody who put this right here. I did not do this. Look at the nails sticking up everywhere. That'd be some good wood. I've been thinking of taking this home, actually. This is, uh, this is my dad coming out in me. See some, you see some wood laying there. Like, hey, I could build something out of that. I'm gonna take that home. But I have no way of, nah. So full of nails already. This summer I want to build a dog run at home. Just a cheap one, just one that'll last a couple of years, right? It'll be out of pretty much treated two by fours and chicken wire. It's just something. Uh, it's not. It's not gonna be like a dog. It'll be a big fenced in area, more more so a big fenced in area than a dog run. A dog run sort of sounds small in people's minds. It'll be a huge open area. It's pretty much so that when we're working in the yard, but we still want to let the dogs outside, but we don't want to watch them, that they have an area to go run around in where we don't gotta worry about them like, uh, you know, spotting a deer or something or a rabbit and bolting off after it into the woods, because they do that. And then you have no idea where they went. If you don't see which direction they took off in, you have no idea where they went. They, they're they gone. They've never caught the deer yet, but one of these times, I don't know. Chevy's pretty quick. He's over 100 pounds now. Chevy is 106 pounds, I think. He just went and had his annual vet visit uh, yesterday, day before yesterday. They weighed him. He's a big boy. It's all muscle too, all muscle. He's a beast. Our little puppy is a little beast now. good that's a big fire we are uh, well, we're getting close to North Dakota already we've just been flying today got all this foreign substance though on my windshield I'm not too sure what it is I haven't seen it in so long looks like it could possibly be bugs strange what is going on over there I 
got about another uh, four and a half hours till we're back yet. Man, look at that. That looks like a big fire over there. Man. Crazy. I hope everything's okay. Maybe it's just a farmer burning his field. That looks like a lot of smoke for a farmer's field, though. No idea. We'll probably never know. Have to check the news. Uh, what are we in? Northwestern Minnesota. Something's on fire. My collection of bug guts is accumulating. Very proud of it. That is such a good sign. Such a good sign. That means it's springtime. Summer's on the way. I love those bugs. You see them? All over my window. Look at that. <laughs> so we are, what, an hour from our yard? Got an empty step deck behind me. So we've just been cruising all day, just sailing. Not making any money. Just spending money today, but it is what it is. One kilometer, keep to the left on Lord Selkirk Highway, Highway 75. Okay, let's do that. Why would I have left the highway? Why, don't you, why can't you just assume that I know to stay on the highway? Every five minutes, don't leave the highway. Keep to the left on Lord Selkirk Highway. What do you mean keep to the left? Where, where else would I go? See, if I wouldn't keep to the left, that would be exiting at an exit. I will just continue driving down this road and not exit this road. See, see how that works? Same road. Man, this truck is running so smooth though. It's amazing how how much difference continue those new steer tires make. Kilometers. Those new steer tires are just amazing. Like Michelin, really, really get a big thumbs up from me. And those Centromatic balancers, just incredible. It's like night and day. It's like a total different truck. It's just, I can't even feel the road. It's just sailing, just like slipping over it. Like it was glass. It's wonderful. This is Southern Manitoba now, if I haven't told you yet. We're back in Canada. So I'm just sleeping at our yard here. I have an important meeting in the morning in the office. Uh, trying to work out everything going on with this truck. It's been a bad uh, beginning of this year, as you guys know, I've, I've told you this before. And uh, just got to work out a few details because there's still some work that needs to be done to this truck. There's a weaking, uh, a weaking, a leaking wheel seal that I have now on my front drive axle on the passenger side leaking oil out of the wheel seal so that's got to be replaced and the brake pads i bet you they're gonna have to replace the brake pads because they're probably all soaked and saturated in oil i just realized it here on my post trip and uh on top of that I'm, i still have that injector issue that needs to be looked at uh it's it's been told it's not the most critical but it will need to be looked at sooner than later <clears throat> and uh huh. gotta go and work out something in the office because it's becoming overwhelming and i'm still treading water still doing all right but uh, it's getting stressful and uh, i've got to make a few changes i've got to uh go and see if i can work out a deal and work out uh, a solution to the predicament that I found myself in. This truck has really, really been acting up and been really cranky this year. And, uh, you know, it's trying to pull me under. That's what it's trying to do. It's like you're in the deep end of the pool and, you know, one of those big sea monsters comes and grabs your leg and starts to pull you under. I'm fighting it. I'm fighting it. Don't worry, I'm a fighter. I've explored almost every option that I can think of to uh, fight this monster off that's trying to pull me underwater. So uh, before I actually go underwater, <laughs> I'm going to go into the office here and uh, see what options we have to, to fight this thing a little more. I'm going to need their help a little bit. 
and uh, two heads are better than one, right? And ten heads are better than two. So I'm going to go in there and brainstorm with them, try to come up with something. But, you know, it's been tough. And uh, I can't say that I'm the only one because I know it's tough for all of you as well. So I can only share my story. But it's not really the economy that's got me. If the economy was still going strong as before, I would still be in this spot because of this truck and the way it's been acting up. So it's been a it's been a streak of bad luck, a really bad streak of really bad luck. So we're going to figure this out. We're going to keep fighting and uh, come up with different alternatives, different things we can do. We're going to make some changes tomorrow. And I'm going to go into the office and uh, sit down with the, the big guy himself. I'm in charge of everything. And uh, he's a great guy. Love talking with him. Just visiting with him is great. But we're going to go in there and we're going to gonna figure this out I'm gonna let him know that this this truck has been just brutal but let's let's not end on a downer let's not end on a downer I'm still okay we're still good we got money in the bank to, to buy food at least uh, you know we have our home we have each other my wife and I and we have our dogs got a lot of love in my life got a lot of people who love me and I love them back Got a great family, great parents, great in-laws, great sisters. A lot of things to be thankful for. But like I said, everybody deals with their problems, right? And I'm dealing with mine right now. So tomorrow we're going to go in and we're going to figure things out. We're going to sit down, have a meeting and uh, make some changes. And I'll let you know what they are after we figure out what they are. <laughs> but uh, changes are a coming. A little bit of a foreshadow in here, okay? Changes are coming. We'll see what happens tomorrow. I hope you tune in. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope that that made you want to watch tomorrow's video because uh, I don't know what's going to happen either. I don't even know what the changes will be, but I know that there will be changes. So uh, stick around. I'll see you later.